Dude, I think you're better at cleaning these shoes than you are your teeth. <laughs> <laughs> Same tool, different passion. Hello and good morning everyone. Welcome back. I can feel it. Spring's coming. It is coming. In fact, I just sat down on the floor in the most uncomfortable position. Full transparency. I had to unbutton my pants. <laughs> Sitting on the floor in jeans. Okay, maybe you don't do it, but I do. Just did my toes I like a really fun spring color. I'm headed out actually to go get my nails done. I do enjoy having my nails done now that I don't have like a salon in the house. I did bring like my nail desk, but if I'm being like completely honest, I just haven't like found a place to set it up. Don't know that I want to set it up. Don't know that I want to do my own nails anymore. Really enjoy showing up to a salon and they do them, then I leave. Leave all the mess there. I'm undecided. I'll do that eventually. We'll see. For today, I did pamper myself just a little bit. I did my toesies. I got that all dialed in. Just gotta go get the nails done. We have a little bit of a fun afternoon. Kirby's gonna help me out. And then later tonight, I feel so very honored. A really exciting night tonight because the owner and co-founder of Albion Fit, you know that I love them. If you ever are on Indie's Best, you see that I talk about Albion Fit a ton. They're like one of my very, very, very favorite companies. Liz, the owner, has invited us over to her home tonight to have a really fun dinner. We're going to be making floral arrangements, just having a fun night with just some awesome women. We have that tonight that I'm really looking forward to. Really excited. I got mostly ready, washed my hair, so I have to curl it or straighten it or whatever I'm gonna do with it. It's clean. That's really all I care about and it feels amazing. Gonna head off, go run some errands and go get my nails done. I sound so like prissy today. Look at me. It'll be a lot of fun. Brandon's gonna take care of everything here at home for just a little bit. Head off to go get the kids from school. Well, Mr. Kruby, he's got a new venture ahead of him. That little snack that I made was amazing. It's like my new favorite snack. I literally just did a lightly salted rice cake, laughing cow cheese, and everything seasoning, and it is so good. stupid good. I made one yesterday. I was like, I don't know if this is weird, but we're just gonna try it. So Ryler tried it with me. Brandon made it today. And then another snacky I just made are these little protein bites. So good. Have the recipe on a reel over on Mindy's Best. You guys can watch it. I made just a couple of little snacks today. The little protein bites, I just keep them in the freezer, and I bet they're gone by tomorrow. It's fine. Kids just got home. Ryler is making himself a snack and he's really struggling because he has dropped an entire cube of butter. Well, the butter didn't fit in there and so I just gave up. So I'm doing cream cheese now. He got out cream cheese and he's putting it on toast. That it's raining. Hey, but. That seems random. Look, I'm getting everything stuff so it'll turn into an everything bagel. Also, you guys know you're all going to notice this right away because you can see my handsome son's face again. He got a haircut yesterday. I hate it. A little shorter than he wanted. Really, like, a lot shorter. Click the like button if you guys like it because. Right guy had a a little bit of a rough afternoon yesterday. I was I'm crying for like 30 minutes. <laughs> I wasn't gonna say you were crying. If you're comfortable with it. Yeah. It was sad. I hated it. Have you ever gotten one of those haircuts that you absolutely hate? Yes. Um, like literally makes you question your entire existence because you know you have to go to school the next day, face your friends. That's how Rag I was feeling and it made me really sad. I like literally felt so sad for him. This is good. Where we go get our haircuts, there's one girl we love. Love, love, love and Ryler didn't get her crew did. I was so excited that crew got this girl because he kind of changed up his hairstyle and for a totally different look, he comes down here, I'll show you. He looks really handsome. Poor Rye guy really struggled yesterday yep, afternoon. This is really good though. I'm glad it's really good. You guys give this video a thumbs up if you like this one's haircut. Yeah. I think he looks so handsome and you can see that precious voice that I love. No. He hates me right now. Crap it out! Let me get crew down here, show you his haircut. You guys, I have a little something I need crew to do for me. Mm, my favorite son. I just want to hit you. Oh, you can do anything you want, buddy. You're my favorite. Oh, are you recording? <laughs> Kruby came down. Kruby, show everyone the new look. So, he doesn't have the hard part anymore. This fade in the back. Sheesh, it looks so good, dude. I love it. Gosh, he's still sensitive. Too soon, too soon. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, so Kruby went the new look. So, he did have the hard part right here. The reason we steered away from that is because the hard part was like inching this way. It wasn't a straight line anymore. So, we just put some pomade in it, kind of mess it up a little bit in the front, throw it up. Looks super good. Yeah. The only thing that I see as being a downside to this haircut is this where it's tight right here. You'll just need haircuts more often to make it look super clean and tight. Yeah. Now we know. This is the new crew right here. He Ooh. is looking fire. Heck yeah. Dude, buddy. that is a good look. This is a very so crew look. It has a very athletic feel to it. it All my friends said that they love it. Really? So yeah. what do the girls say? Oh my god. <gasps> Woo! What do they always say? <laughs> Get out of here and stop talking to me. <laughs> Hey you guys, I've been waiting all day for Crew to get home because I have something that I need his help with. You're probably wondering what could Crew possibly do for me that I can't do myself. Teach well, you everything, style your hair. yes boy. Do your hair. I know. Okay, fine. Yeah, I haven't curled it yet. No, we're definitely not asking Dad. <laughs> 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 yeah, yeah, don't. 
I didn't even have to take it away. I just left you hanging. Definitely on the wrong team here. Wait, are you matching me again? How did I not notice that entire now? Chill, chill down, Mindy. Show him what's going Sorry. on here. Sorry. Wee! Ruby Doo is a lover of the sneakers. He mm -hmm. is a sneaker head, if you will. Um, he loves to collect shoes, loves to take care of his shoes. He is washing them constantly. I am in need of some services that only I think you can provide. What I've asked Kruby to do is wash my shoes. This is a good way for Crew to make money. I have a deal with him. I will pay him to clean the outsides of the shoe. You know, like the sole gets dirty. There's a lot of different fabrics on shoes. He knows how to take care of the suede. He knows how to take care of the leather. Wow. All right, guy, just come Sorry. here. Sorry, we got a lot of freshness going on. Look at this new vest. This is supposed to be black. It came out kind of gray, but Apparently, this is called dark gray. There's a black version, but they didn't want to size it down. Wow. Oh, okay. I think it just automatically changed down. All right, let's like just good, exchange it, though. I'll keep something you're not going to wear. I okay. think he likes the gray. You like oh, the gray? So anyways, right Wait, are you matching me and mom, too? Oh, my gosh. Oh, my <laughs> I'll be back. Yeah. <laughs> So I thought I could ask for Kruby's help. He could earn a little bit of money. You're gonna get and paid for this, bro? Yeah, yeah. So is this like a job? Are you starting I, I feel like your first job today? I feel like this is like a good little job. Okay, you know how they have like car detailers, boat detailers? You could be a shoe, shoe detailer. detailer. At the mall. Dude, I'm not talking like shoe shiner, like you specialize in Jordans. How many times have we said when we go to the airport they got those old shoe shine stations that people don't go to anymore? Like what if a dude was Jordan shoe shiner? He's there to like get the crep wipes and get like a fresh, clean, brand new look on your Yeezy whatever it is, that would be pretty sick, dude. Insane. That's what you're doing today. Starting today, starting his new job. And depending on how it goes, if you crush it for mom, I might let you touch my Buddy, <laughs> let me explain to you that dad does not take care of his shoes. Brandon yes. is not good at taking care of shoes. Touch the ground. They go on your feet. He doesn't Have understand. You, seen his deck? It's, it's you don't understand this. If you could please just Have get you out seen of the how well I'm taking care of your PS5? I have kept that in pristine Ooh. condition. You're not supposed to touch my PS5. Ruby and I, we get the shoe game. Ryler and Brandon kind of destroy their we shoes. Do not. I have, like, but we don't. We shoes. take very we good we wear each other's shoes, and so we can blame each other. Like, yeah. oh, this is dirty because of you. And he's like, no, that was because of you. And we're just like, whatever. Me and Crew, we don't do that. I do have a couple of pairs that have, like, just accidentally gotten dirty. So Crew's gonna help me. Accidentally gotten dirty? Let me go show you what I've got. Okay. You can go get all your supplies. Mm -hmm. So do you know which shoes you want him to clean? Do you need to go choose I which think ones? I need to Crew, go look. do your skills allow you to clean all types, all materials? Are there are certain things yeah. that you can do. Because this dude watches the videos. He knows. Use this on suede, this mm -hmm. on leather, I can do this on soles. <laughs> He knows it all, Dad. He knows it all. He knows the cleaning product, brush type. Let's see what we got here. So, I just like see all that. Let me assess my damage. Mm, <laughs> what do you think about that? Especially mm. the camera right there. What would you charge oh, for that, that dude? Oh, that mustard? Like a $50 mm. clean oh, job right there. that's dog poop right there. <laughs> oh my gosh, that just went to 100 This is about <laughs> 85 85 I can get those clean. dollars of my work. <laughs> that's just for souls, though. Take it or leave it. He's the only <laughs> shoe cleaner in the game. Take it or leave it. Oh my gosh, how about <laughs> these Air Force ones? <laughs> Ooh. Clean them, I get them. <laughs> <laughs> They're super clean. Clean it, you bought it. These would actually fit you. How about my those dunks? Dunks? Oh yes. Just like clean up the soles on these ones. Okay, but these ones are cloth. This is cloth. That's suede. It's also have suede right there. What is your rate? Should we go hourly rate per shoe, oh, depending on the dirtiness? Per shoe. It's twenty dollars per shoe, right? That's what you told no. me. But here's where you get into trouble with that. A pair of shoes. Here's where you get into trouble with that, dude. Pair. Somebody could bring you something that has been buried underneath the earth for seventeen years, or they could bring you something that has one little scuff, and you're saying you do twenty bucks for the pair of shoes. You need to have some variations within that. To be fair, that's okay. one hundred and twenty dollars right now. So here, for these, I was thinking like five bucks. Yeah, yeah. I think twenty is pretty <laughs> steep per pair of so, shoes. So I think I'd do like five. These are like those are. Fairly dirty. Yeah. So 15. These ones are pretty dirty. <laughs> five for everything. Five per pair. How much is that up to? Five for everything? Right? That's 30 bucks. 30 bucks to clean some shoes? I think that's pretty good. Yeah, pretty good. Wait, did you brush your teeth with that? No, it's my shoe toothbrush. You have a shoe toothbrush oh. where your regular toothbrush is? I feel like that can be confusing, dude. Okay, so now what? What do you need next? I need to find my crap stuff. My shoes too. Look at this. <laughs> oh, wow. Easy just brought in a pair. Wow. Wow, hold up, dude. Val, business is booming for Kruby, dude. Sorry, he hasn't even cleaned his first pair. Yeah, He's fun, already fun got. <laughs> Guys, can't yeah. tell me there's not a demand for this type of cleaning service here. Wow. There really is. I mean, like. Where are you going to do this at, Kruby? People don't right. know the right. Oh, my gosh. <laughs> Look 
at the difference that made just in like one little thing that he did. Oh my gosh, that's crazy. so I need to awesome. Work on this back. So tell me what you're using to make him so clean. I'm just right now, what I do for the free thing, I guess, is I just use a toothbrush and then this crepe. This is Brexton's, right? Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> then I use this crepe solution. Wait, you're and putting crepe on my shoes? <laughs> I thought we were paying you to get the crepe off the shoes. <laughs> cleans leather, suede, canvas, nylon, vinyl. So oh, so that's like perfect. the go to. And then I just put my toothbrush in there and then I just get the shoe. And I'll normally do the soles first. I don't do the bottom because it shows when you're wearing it, but normally I'll just do the soles. And this is already comparison. This one looks so much dirtier. This looks so good. Oh my gosh, and that's that looks all amazing. After, like one second. So I'm gonna have yeah. brand new shoes. I know. I just use my toothbrush. I use this if I'm doing like the whole shoe, but I use this if I'm just doing like a certain spot. Okay. So then I'll probably just use the exact same thing. You want to go in circles. I don't know why. That's just what I've learned. And when you go in circles, just gently go over it and you'll get your rag. It'll just wipe. And then it already kind of came off a little bit, but it's a different color because it's wet. So then when you do it, just go back. Dude, I think you're better at cleaning these shoes than you are your teeth. <laughs> <laughs> same tool, different passion. Look at that. The spot's so, gone though. So when they dry, it'll be all wow. exact same color. These are fairly clean. I could do like a little bit on the sole. So I'm gonna use this magic eraser for just this spot right there. And then also these stars in the middle of the Air Forces. Those are stars? I thought they were dots. Wow. No. You would not want to use this on suede. You'd probably only want to use it on like leather. And like this, I could use it on. And I'm probably just gonna use the toothbrush for that because it just gets like smaller spaces. This is if you have like a sole, then you can just rub it. The soles are pretty clean already. Also right here, this strip of above the sole. That gets really dirty sometimes. You just go over that spot. Then I like having a microfiber cloth. This also works. You just, once you're done with it, you just go over the shoe where it's like wet or something. It should get all of it off. And these are really clean. And then that spot. Another pair, another satisfied customer. Yes. <laughs> This one is just all leather, so I can use this, which is very handy. This one, the toothbrush will just take a while. So for this, I'm just gonna dip it, and then I'm just gonna get Is that because of, of the material type? It just uh -huh. is safe to use like, that on the whole thing? Like, you can do this on suede, but since I was just doing a little part of the suede, I just didn't do this. You wanna rub in circles, and so how you know it's working with like the crepe stuff is if it makes this foam. So the sudsy foamy mm -hmm. is the way to know that it's working. And then take your rag, and then you just go over the shoe. Dude, looks so good, bro. And if there's any spots that didn't come up, you just do like a second round, basically, mm -hmm. right? Or if there's like, cause this will have gotten almost everything. Like there were spots all through this white. Now there's none. If there's just a smaller spot that's not like a whole side of the shoe, right here, I could just get my toothbrush and just go like that and just scrub for a little bit. Or even a magic eraser could work too. Ruby has been crushing it out here. Uh -huh. Here's the thing. It's not like it takes like 30 minutes for a pair of shoes. It's actually fairly quick. It's just a matter of finding time to sit down and do it. This boy sat out here. It's kind of cold, but you uh, did awesome, dude. Thank you. Crushed it. My Ooh. shoes look amazing. Look at these soles. They're like so bright white. Right guy even paid him to do a pair. Just uh, the whites on all the shoes just look so much oh, more look white. so much better, dude. These, my blazers were probably the worst. They look brand spanking new. Buddy, you're like the legend. Thank you so much. Oh my gosh. And these were really bad. I've had these for a couple of years. Never washed them. Thank you so much. So you guys, he uses the crepe kit, magic eraser, and your brother's toothbrush. toothbrush. That's the recipe Okay, <laughs> but it. what I love about this, he had so much fun just setting up this shop. This It'll is a passion. It'll be so much more fun in summer. Well, absolutely. But I could see him sitting out here all day long and never getting tired of it, never getting bored. He absolutely loves this. Not just because he loves shoes, but he loves taking good care of them. And I love that, dude. This has been really cool for me to watch. Mama's got some freshly clean kicks, looking good, thanks oh, to Crew. Talking about my hair. You look amazing, you look incredible. Thanks to Crew and his new job, showing us all how to clean those hey, shoes. Tally up what I owe you. How much is it? You did I'll a bunch of shoes. Okay. Plus, Rye Guy owes you. You and some of his shoes. Hazy oh, owes you. Hazy. I think it's around 40. Bro, you just made a clean That's 40, crazy. cleaning some kicks, looking yeah. fresh. But we're losing mom for the night. She has gone to a Running very away. fun, special gathering. We are excited to hear how that goes. We're gonna be here fending for ourselves, probably order out some fun dinner, something like that. Coming up tomorrow, it is the weekend, Friday. 
Friday going into an extended weekend. The kids have Monday off. So make sure you come back. It is going to be amazing. I didn't realize it was Friday tomorrow and I didn't realize the kids had Monday off. Let's freaking do this. Love you guys. See you all tomorrow. Good night, everybody. Bye. Bye. You know, like the soul gets dirty and like the upper sleeve. My the... soul's dirty. What? <laughs> Don't say that. <laughs> Buddy, you're like the... That's like two pairs of shoes. That's a great thumbnail.